Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a senior application developer for Victolic Tools for Revit. So today I'd like to discuss one of the classic tools in the productivity tool section of Victolic Tools for Revit, the delete pipe command. Now this tool does exactly what it says. It deletes a piece of pipe and it will pull the fittings on either side together and connect them. Now to get the most out of the delete pipe tool, you'll have to understand the difference between flange fittings and multiport type fittings. So let's start with that. I'm going to zoom into an area where we're using Revit families. Now because Revit doesn't have a native family type for couplings, we and other content manufacturers will utilize the flange type fittings to simulate the functionality of couplings. One of the downsides of using a flange type fitting is Revit's need to change and auto-generate new flange families. One of the ways we get around that is using a multi-port type coupling when connecting between two fittings. So how does Revit, and more importantly Victolic Tools for Revit, know which multi-port coupling to use when you're using the Delete Pipe tool? Well, that's controlled in Victolic Tools for Revit settings. You can find our settings up in the top right of the toolbar, or you can find them from the Assembly Manager. It takes you basically to the same place. In our settings is a tab called Delete Pipe Settings. Now in here along the left-hand side, these are all the pipe types that are found in your project. See, we have a number of Victolic pipe types as well as a butt-welded system. The idea here is to set a multi-port version of your coupling that is specific to each pipe type. Now if you're using our default settings and the Victolic template, you're going to find that this part is already populated for you. But if you find yourself in a new project and you need to specify these settings, here's how you can get some of the multi-port couplings from the Victolic ribbon. Now in the Victolic Tools tab of the ribbon menu up at the top, you'll find all of our content ribbons available. Uh, as you click on each one, they'll expand and give you more options for content. Each one of these ribbons will have an area for fittings. And under fittings, you're going to notice that there are versions of our couplings that are flange type fittings, and then version of our couplings that are multi-port type fittings. And we note this by the underscore MP found at the end of the family's name. You can also locate our families through the content center. And so definitely check out the video for the content center. This allows you to download any of the families that Victolic Tools has posted for customer consumption. But back to the settings, you will notice that the multi-port coupling selected for each of the pipe types will change depending on the line of product. So for a stainless steel pipe type, we will use a stainless steel multi-port coupling. Okay, well that's enough talking about it. Let's actually see it in action. The delete pipe tool can be found from the modify ribbon or from the Victolic tools ribbon. You'll see it as the last icon here in the Victolic productivity tools. And this is a continuous tool, so you can use this tool as many times as you want as long as you keep clicking on pipe and until you escape the command. So we will use these two elbows here as an example. If I wanted to delete the pipe between these elbows, this command will take into account where I'm clicking on the pipe. So for example, if I wanted this header to pull toward me, I could click on this end of the pipe. Or if I wanted this vertical to go away from me, I can click on this end of the pipe. And that's really what I want. So let me zoom out for a little more context. And I will click on the far end of the pipe. And you'll see everything pull together at that point. Okay, let's take a look at the joint. This coupling here is the multi-port version of the 107 Victolic coupling. So like I said, this is a continuous tool, so let's click it again and finish out this system. Okay, I click Escape on my keyboard. Now these kind of configurations would take a long time to put together. There'd be multiple section views involved and uh, a lot of dragging and trying to connect fittings together. So the Delete Pipe tool is a huge time saver in that respect. So this tool's functionality is not limited to just families, and it's not limited to just families that Victolic makes. The Delete Pipe tool can be used on generic content. So I have a generic system up here, and it works exactly the same way. So I click on Delete Pipe, and I choose which end of the pipe that I'd like to pull back. And you can get similar configurations with just generic family types. 
and also for fabrication part ITMs. I have a system down here with a similar configuration. Fabrication part ITMs are slightly different because the default coupling that will be placed between the fittings is not controlled by the delete pipe settings in Victaulic Tools for Revit. It's actually controlled by your fabrication service library. So let's go to the fabrication parts palette and take a look at our service. Now the very first coupling that I have listed here is the 107N and this is going to be the one that's going to be defaulted in between each of the fittings. If I want to change this all I have to do is simply exclude it from fill which is a Revit command for fabrication parts. It's found here at the bottom and I would just click the red X right here and uh, it will be excluded and it'll go on to the next available coupling which in this case is the 177 flexible coupling. So that said, I can use the delete pipe tool exactly how I did for families. And I'll do the same configuration here. Now for all of these joints, it used the 177N coupling instead of the 107 because I did exclude it from fill in the fabrication palette. Now the last thing I want to show you is a common struggle in Revit and that's dealing with sloped pipe and more specifically dealing with fitting to fitting connections in a sloped pipe system. So let's go down to an empty spot in my project and we'll draw some sloped pipe. Okay, I'll use the IPS T system and up here I'm going to slope it up and I'll do something like a quarter inch for every foot. Okay. Now in a scenario like this, trying to get the right section view and trying to get the right angle on your fittings is going to be a challenge if you're trying to do this manually. The delete pipe tool makes it so much easier where you can pull together fitting to fitting combinations all at a decent slope here, saving you that much more time. So that's the delete pipe tool. It's a tool that will automate fitting to fitting connections for both families and fabrication parts and hopefully save you a lot of time. Thanks so much for watching.